what is going on guys it's the Bristolian Nelson Olean here and I am bringing you my post map review basically of the game and um oh man when I first saw the uh, the team sheet I was um I was looking forward to the diamond I was I was excited that we were playing I was excited that we were playing both Erzul and Kabayos and also I was excited that we were playing both Gwendizi and Terrera and I was also pretty excited about the Lacazette Abamyang combo however I'm not sure how much that actually did work I thought Chambers did well again on the right I mean last game he, he kind of flopped um, because of the uh, you know the penalty and um, you know the second I don't think the second uh, goal was his fault that shouldn't have been disallowed but you know VAR really does not like it I would have liked to have seen maybe Pepe on the wing and Bamiang uh, up front, and maybe take one of the players out of the midfield, because obviously we need the players at the back with the fullbacks. Um, but I'm not sure really. Like, don't think we need two strikers like that on either side. Do you know what I mean? But you know, I feel like we should be playing Pepe when he's you know starting to find his form. Anyway, getting into the game. The start of the game was absolutely terrible. All of the uh, the balls in our half, uh, I felt like we had absolutely no control. Players didn't know what they were doing. Like they didn't really know what positions they were playing. It was just all over the place. But then we had a sudden five minutes where the team sort of realised, you know, like how they can actually work together. And then from that point onwards, I felt like you know we were just all over them. And then uh, we got a few chances, and then we finally got the Abamyang chance, and he put it in the back of the net as he always does, which was brilliant to see. I was gassed. I will show you my reaction. David Luiz out on the wing, puts it inside to Lacazette. Abamyang, one 0 Let's go, boys. Let's go. Abamyang to Lacazette. Abamyang to. I thought Lacazette was also really good, uh, holding up the ball. And uh, his passing as well. I thought the passing all over was pretty good. I also think Leno had a pretty brilliant game. Like he made a lot of important saves, came out at the right time, and he, he was just he was there controlling everything. And I think Leno did a large bit that game. I, I thought he was really good. So big ratings for Leno that game. Now the issue is we were playing so well and everything, and then Emery decides to sub off Torreira and. Herrera is our central defensive player and that was kind of where we were we were struggling I feel like at, at that point in the midfield and to take him off and um, I just think it was a poor decision I feel like Unai obviously wanted to go for that second goal but I think taking um, Torreira off was completely the wrong decision anyway we, obviously we just looked so shaky in that second half I mean we had Actually, quite a lot of good attempts. I could have seen us scoring and actually winning that game and being more positive in this video. But I feel like, um, honestly, I, I just feel like Emery messed up again, man. He messed up again. Mainly that, I think it was mainly to do with that Torreira substitution. I'm, I'm not blaming, um, I can't remember who it was who came on, Saka or Martinelli. Um, but still, like that was just the wrong sub to make. And that was a part of the pitch where we were really struggling. Anyway guys, this has been my video, I hope you enjoyed the live commentary, I'm going to be doing more of them soon, especially for these 3pm games that a lot of people can't watch. Um, yeah, be sure to subscribe, there are going to be a lot more videos coming soon, I've got a lot of ideas and shit is going to be happening. See you all soon, peace.